can I get a promotion? Yeah, sure. Hey, can I get another promotion? You're gonna drive on a dick! <laughs> Lord Jesus, please get me through this bullshit! Hey. Fuck the info booth. I don't wanna go in the disco yet! I'm gonna give a simultaneously major and minor spoiler. Um, you have already, you may or may not have already killed the family of the villain of the second game, but you don't know it because they're no, they're no main character. Oh. Um, you know those, you know those side missions where you're just like, those side missions where you're just doing like random fighting goons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah one of those goons. <laughs> And oh. one of those no-name goons, and they're never gonna be named. It just so happens to be, the, just so happens to be the family of one of the villains in the second game. That's an interesting thing to do because, like, normally all the mooks in a game are just historyless, faceless assholes. You yeah. never think about them as people with lives and families. Like, what led you to this moment of being murdered in a parking garage by Travis Touchdown? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's really rare that happens, but it's actually, it's actually, like, I'm laughing, but, and it's, because I'm laughing because it's not played, like, really, it's not really played up. But okay, at the same I time, do not know how to hit this thing. boss. That's um, probably try, the trouble I would have. Try dodging her attacks. Try, do, try like, try waiting. That's not, I am trying. <laughs> I mean, you're, but you're that's hard it. to do. Try not getting hit, stupid. Okay. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're, but I have to, I, I'm trying, okay, it's just hard to tell. And normally, yeah, because like with the last guy, I could like, eventually like knock him over for like wrestling. Much. Okay. Fucking Karibo head looking ass bitch. Wait, like that. Shinobu, man. Shinobu, Shinobu's actually a fan favorite character, actually. Hmm. Why? Because okay. her head looks like a pom pom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, she's actually been in every She brings game. a lot of spunk and cheer. You should um, find some health <laughs> if you can. She's actually, been in yeah. every, she's actually been in every game. She's um, one of the few. She's um, one of the few characters that's shown up in every title. Okay, hell. Here some health. Um, in fact, in fact, Suda, in an interview for three, he said that, um, he said that, um, actually, I just realized that me saying, I just realized that I just spoiled that she's not gonna die by me saying that she's in every okay. game. But, Man, uh, why did we bring you in? <laughs> oh, well. Oh, this well, is a it's terrible a idea. Oh, well, it's oh, like, fuck, a, lock it's like on. a, it's like a seven, it's like, it's over ten years old at this point. If you didn't play it, then you can And Snape kills Dumbledore. Yeah. Aerith dies. <laughs> That's gonna be really weird. The Final Fantasy VII thing is like, can we spoil that game now? Can we continue spoiling that game that's been out for well over a decade? That game. What if, what if Final Fantasy VII come out? Well, you don't want to carry on the depression of Aerith. Well, you know, that yeah, I don't want to. That game came out in '97. I know I'm gonna get made fun of for saying this because video <laughs> games are for nerds. LOL. But this is exactly how I felt when Aerith died. <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a reply to a something awful thread many years ago about someone's like father dying horribly. <laughs> that was a reply to it. They were like, oh, that's exactly how I felt when it Aerith was, died. It was like the first reply too, wasn't it? <laughs> something like that, one of the first. FF7 is um 20, it's over 20 years old, holy oh, shit. Like, the, like, like, just thinking about that, it's like, wow, FF7 is almost as, as old as I am. I was like four or five when 7 came out. So, um, I should... I don't, I don't know if it's on normal mode, but I do know that Shinobu has... I know. I don't know if it's on normal mode or on hard. If she has it on normal mode or not. It's on, we're on mild. We're on mild. Yeah. I don't know if she has it on this difficulty or not. But Shinobu does have the first quote-unquote instant kill attack. Mm. Um. Although, although hers is the only one in the game that you can survive. But it does. It will. It will nearly kill you if you're not full HP. Um. Yeah, that's something to watch out for. Because yeah, mild, mild is only, it's, the it's normal a, difficulty. Yeah. There's is an attack. She, she has yeah, sweet was the easy one. Check the Check the Well, oh, oh, I knew that. It. All right, I mean, I figure because there's only sweet and mild to start with. You didn't check. Uh, I was, yeah, I was trying to say check, check the Wii mode to get the uh, to win the clash. Oh yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I was just talking. I didn't even notice the clash going on. Yeah, should I stay or should I go now? Was that your second death? That's my second death. Yeah. 
So I was, I would actually, I will go, I will say that she's probably the first progression blocker boss in the game. Yeah, that's what I've heard. She's the first, like, you really have to, like, learn the game mechanics, the combat and stuff, from what I've read. Yeah, like, she's not, like, ago, like, once you understand what she's about, like, she's not super difficult, but she is one of, in the, she's not super difficult compared to some of the later bosses, that is, but she is right. one of the, um, harder bosses from... You can't, you can't just, like, hack and slash. Yeah, like, she, way. yeah, like, you have to, like, you have to, you have to, like, dodge and stuff, like, look, like, when she puts her, like, when she she's her sword like that, like, you should probably get ready to, like, block or dodge her attack. Go right there, like, just dodge that, and then get a free, and then get, like, a... You can probably, when you Damn start it. charging like that, you can probably back off and charge your own attack, actually. Really? Huh. But yeah, because like, 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 she doesn't go that far, so you can probably back up and then charge up your, uh, your beam saber. Oh, see if I can... I guess oh, that, I, th I thought that was going to be a wrestling app. I thought you were going to be a wrestling move after the kick. Yeah, I, I, I'd like to do the wrestling moves, but I can't seem to stun her. Yeah, she, oh, here's one. Still... Right when I say that. Right when I say that. Stone Cold Stunner. Yeah. I gotta say, I don't know. Like, I don't. I feel like this game might have subconsciously like awakened me loving characters just doing wrestling moves and like real fights. Yeah. Because like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm all like, I'm a big sucker for like seeing like a, like seeing someone like fighting like normally, and then out of nowhere they just jump over, they just get behind them and just do a suplex. Damn it, we're trying to get the oh, fuck away. Damn it. You're getting, you're getting backstabbed. You should heal yeah. up if you have it. Yeah, I was gonna heal and I need to... There's a battery too, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, I, I know, I saw it. Excuse I know I saw me. it, but I wanna, while I'm over here, I wanna, Excuse well, I have privacy. Excuse me, pretty lady, I'm gonna go into this other room and jack off, and then yeah, I'll yeah. come back and fight you. Imagine it's like, you kill, imagine it's like, you killed my father to be right in the corner room and stuff. <laughs> I need to rub one out real quick. <laughs> I may have killed your father, but you didn't kill what my boner. Okay, what the fuck, I, I did the fucking, I spun the Wii mode around. I think it's the Spin, spin, spin. I think it's the shaking, yeah. that's been around. Yeah, there you go. Well, not stirred. I've, I've, I've won the oh, flashes okay, so many times. So Shinobu was actually supposed to be like inspired by like those old samurai type films, whatever, like the whole like you killed my dad oh, yeah. die. I can see that. She's Fuck. Inigo Montoya, yes. Okay, that was my third. Alright, my turn to die three times. Yep. Can't if wait. Only I, if only I could try it as well. If you could paratroop in here. <laughs> we could be a SWAT team. Okay, how do you dodge again? Like Z. Z. Okay. This is the bottom button on the nunchuck. Yeah, the one your finger's over. Okay. <laughs> if that's that's to lock on, if any you use the. Once you lock on, D pad dodges. Okay, D pad dodges. Well, I knew, I knew how to lock on, but I didn't know how to dodge once I was locked on. I was trying to do it earlier with the yeah. fucking fire guys, and I forgotten how. Because it's been weeks since we played this last. Mm -hmm. I want to just press Z to look at her, see where she is. There she goes. You fucking I'm the only one who's gonna get that reference because I'm the only one here who's played Metal Gear Rising. Mm. Unicorn Invasion of Dundee! <laughs> I'm just over here in the distance, like, ah! <laughs> Get up, Travis. Travis falls again. <laughs> Travis falls flat on his ass <laughs> again. Remember that VG Cats comic, The Fall of Max Payne? Uh, not it's, specifically. It's just, a single, it's just a single panel of him walking out the shower about to step on a bar of soap. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite loss edit. Uh. 
awkward. <laughs> I never. I feel like really. I feel really out of the. I feel like I'm out of the loop because I understand what lost. I understand what that is. But like, I didn't want. Like, by the time I found out about it, like it had already existed for several years. And yeah. I was. I never understood. I just never. I just never understood what was funny about it. Like I saw it. Same. Same. Like, I, I saw it and I'm like, what? I was. I saw it and I'm like, no. The context of like it's. It, feel, it, it seems like it's funny because people make. It's funny in that like people make fun of it, but not, not even like super funny. But it's like the whole context of it, it's like what's funny about it? Like it's a fairly serious topic, all things considered. Well, I mean, it's because it's delivered so terribly. Like in the, it, you would have to understand the broader context of the shitty ass webcomic it came from. From what I heard, it's um. From what I heard, it was a um. It was a fairly comedic comic, um webcomic. Yeah. yeah. And even the even the issue prior was fairly was like a comedy was a comedic tone. And then this one was like a sudden tonal was just a big tonal shift of it all. Yeah, I think it's just one of those like you had to be there at the time kind of things. And then people now just won't shut the fuck up about it. They keep yeah. doing it. It's like I wanna do the meme too. Yeah, I mean, that's like, how most got... memes are. Yeah. I mean that thing that comic came out and like I mean that was that was that was that was an era, and that era, like, that era is long since past. The era yeah. of all the web animations and web comics based on games, like. R.I.P. If Hosts anything, like it is, if anything, it is. If anything, the whole, the closest thing we have to it now are the people making the gamers rise up memes. But the problem is that those aren't serious. Those are inherently, those are inherently being like jokes. The whole like rise up gamers. Hmm. I don't know if I've even seen those, but yeah. Oh man, there's some. Um, it's it's um. <laughs> look up the Joker gamer memes or whatever. I guess you have to look up. We live in a society and stuff like that. It just it just it just came off to me as just some like making fun of 13 year old kids on PSN or some bullshit. Yeah. Okay, we're we'll putting some ass here. And by that, I mean she on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that could have been a good name for her, too. She on you. <laughs> Sounds like a, um... And her last name is, like, Stank on Shit. <laughs> <laughs> stank on Shit. <laughs> she on you, Stank on Shit. <laughs> that will be my daughter's name. <laughs> oh, I'm dying now, fuck! <laughs> You'll have to avenge me, she on you, stank on shit. <laughs> I, I, I said like, didn't I? <laughs> Is there supposed to be a like in the middle of that? That's her middle name. That's her middle name. I keep on... So without, I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say what the line is, or I might say it, but um, without hearing the audio, even though I can hear the audio, but like without hearing the audio, I keep on singing Shinobu, and I keep on imagining her saying lines that she does not have in this game. That don't, that would not even make sense in the context of this game. The juice is loose! <laughs> it's a line- I'm, actually, I think I will go ahead and say what the line is. It's a line that she says in the second game when when you're playing, because she's playable in the second game. There's a line she says, and I just I'm, I keep on imagining her saying it when she's fighting you here, even though it wouldn't make sense. And the line is her just yelling out, MOE! Oh god. <laughs> For everything else, there's MasterCard! <laughs> Half whack! <laughs> Not even in the fucking duck voice, we're just saying it. Here she sat, all lonely hearted! Came to shit, like stink on shit! <laughs> Crying and shitting and eat spaghetti. <laughs> arms weak, palm sweaty, arm spaghetti. You fucking bitch. That's one of the things she says. Yeah. I think you should. I think um, you're losing a lot of the uh, clashes. Are you doing them right? I'm He's trying. trying to. He's definitely trying. Patrick is next to me. He can confirm. Yes. I'm trying. I'm Isn't a witness. It, um, is the calibration thing though? Yeah, the, the, the sensor bar, like, at a good spot? Yeah, we got it from the TV, but I, know, I mean, I know like. It's like earlier when we were charging up, the beam katana wasn't charging up that fast either. Hmm. 
It's like maybe, maybe, maybe that can, maybe it might be something like that. Uh, maybe, but our setup is kind of weird. We have it. We have a sense of bar on top. We have, we have a lot of stuff. But okay, we have a TV on top of a table that is like covered with game consoles and games and wires and, and wires and junk and, and used oh, condoms. Yes, and cocaine. Mostly the used yeah, condoms oh. and cocaine. But we have a uh, we have a sensor bar right now on top of the PS3, which is in front of a TV, but is not quite centered in front of a TV because we also have the N64 and its games in front of a TV. So uh, it, it'll never be fixed. It's hopeless. We're we're doomed to failure. Good night, Chicago. Thank you. I'm never gonna win a fucking clash. Alright, right, alright, 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 Get a suplex in. Suplex and then is just cool. ineffectually wave your katana toward her. Yes. Yeah, he wants to be the. They took my backpack. They took my backpack. Okay, there you go. And you said it could never happen. said it could never happen. They said it couldn't be done. They said it couldn't, um, they told me it's the kind of battle that just couldn't be won, you know? You're too sick, too hard, too fucked in the head, you'll never make it, no, not in this lifetime. That was, that was sung with such energy. They're never gonna just dead with the fucking error. Fortitude? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can try, I, I'm trying to figure out a way for you to guess who's, who sings the song. I'm gonna Through the it. fire and flames, the we I'm carry gonna sing on. It the way that it's not the, that it's not actually sung, but a way that might let you figure it out. Okay. You told me. Is someone getting the best, the be best, done. the best, the best of you? Oh, is that fucking David Draymond? Yeah, it's it's um it's from their first album. It's a song from their first album. Back when they were um back when they were still pseudo new metal. Yeah. So there were so there were a couple of songs where he did like where he kind of rapped in it. Now they're just pseudo pseudo. Man, we're, our genre you know is kind of sort of. You know what the disturb? You know what the biggest? You know what I figured out about disturb like a while ago? No, when I say a while ago, I mean like years ago. The yeah. disturb makes some damn good singles, and that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not even bad. It's like they're not even a bad band. Like they it's not even that their songs sound bad. It's just. They make some damn good singles, and the rest of the album's kind of boring. They should have been around in the '60s when it was all s when uh, singles were more important than albums. Yeah, like I, that was my impression when I I think I got I got 10,000 fists back in the day, and I was like, you know, what, I I like some of these songs beforehand or anything, and then but it's just it's so samey after a while. Like they were never a band where I would sit and like just listen to the whole album because it just gets so fucking tiresome. I've got a bunch of their albums, even now. I, some of them, in fact, I got, I got not their most recent album, but the one before that one. I got it for like a dollar because it was on Google Play for a dollar. So sure, why not? And but it's like there's so many songs by them where I'm like, yeah, the song. It's like I'll listen to their singles and I'm like, yeah, it's really good. Like it sounds amazing. And they might have like one or two other tracks where I'm like, yeah, these are really good. But the rest of the album is like. Eh. Like it's yeah, not, I mean, they're, it's they're like, definitely a band I... It's like, it's not bad, it's just... Eh. But here's yeah. what I'll, I will say this. I feel more comfortable listening to, um... I feel more comfortable saying I'm a fan of The Serve than I am saying I'm a fan of FFDP because I feel like... I feel like <laughs> FFDP I see definitely that. I dropped see off. I feel like they definitely had a dropping off point for me. <laughs> I yeah, think I think by the time was... with him, with the, yeah, yeah, Five Finger Death Punch, when they got to the third album, I was completely done, but I was already getting bored after the first two. 
And it was when they this it was just too much of like aggro bullshit. But then oh, but then we have the military patriotic side. So you better fucking like us, or you're not a real American, you little bitch. I I, I still one two you know fuck funny. you. You know what's funny? I still think that their softer songs are some of the be are some of their most well written ones. Lyrically. Yeah, I can see and that. some of the most well performed ones. And then, but it's like every time I every time I listen to their stuff where they're all up in your face, I can't take it seriously. I feel like it's yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Because like, I'm like, I'm I'm because I'm like the people that the people these songs appeal to are adults now. You know, they really should take a cue from uh, Pillar and write a song like Indivisible because oh, that's yeah. the fucking one. I bet Chernobyl listens to the FDP. She's I bet Shinobu that, listens to fucking J-Pop. She's all about that revenge stuff, so she's probably I bet she about. listens to fucking Hatsune Miku, the fucking weeaboo no, ass. No, probably, that's probably Travis, honestly. That's probably Travis. That is blatant. Travis is probably like listening to He's a to huge like, weeaboo. Travis is a huge weeaboo. Yeah, I've seen that. I bet, Travis pulls, yeah, I, I, bet that. Pulling, I bet if he was in Smash, his he would have a toddler. He just starts doing a Miku dance or something. Just starts dancing. <laughs> I bet Bayonetta looks at him and say, and like, I bet Bayonetta, as, as flamboyant as she is, she looks at him and she's like, why are you like this? What's wrong with you? Where did you go wrong, Leon? Where did you, did you at any point oh, go right it. in life? Charge up. Yeah. Fucking Sarah Palin looking at his bitch. I hope Bayonetta 3 comes out. <laughs> like, it's the opposite of it never, never. It'll, it'll come out as soon as Metroid Prime 4 does. I hope, well, I hope, well, here's the thing, like, Metroid, like, they at least, they, they at least said, like, yeah, they're restarting development of yeah. Metroid Prime 4. Like, 3 just hasn't gotten information since the first trailer. Yeah, I think, I think what they said is that it's, it, it, they said that it's progressing well, from what I heard. Yeah, but I'm just, you know, when you, when you don't see things for a while, it, it makes you Yeah, I, 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 I know what you, I know what you mean. Because there was, a, there was another game, Code Vein. Um, I've heard of that Bane, That game was supposed to come out in September of last year. And then, like, a month before it was about set to be released, they delayed it. They didn't say why they delayed it, they just said that they're delaying the game. And they did not give out any information after that, after that announcement. There, no information came out about the game for several months. Like, people were legitimately, like, worried, because the game was about to come out. Like, they were, like, they were pre-order, like, they were, like, pre-order set and everything. And then it's just like, yeah, it's just, it, it got delayed and no information came out. And only like, oh, only like two months old. ago, only oh. like a month or so ago. Oh, uh, tell me more out. about the delays. Oh, oh yeah. I see, like, yeah, but like, see what I mean? Like, I don't know if you know, but like, I don't know if you were like intentionally going slow or not, but like on my end, it looked like it was going slow. I wasn't like, intention not intentionally. No. I don't know if it was recharging slow. Unless, like, unless I'm doing something wrong with, with it. I don't it. know if it's recharging slow or not, because like, it should, Actually I, don't, actually, I don't even know if that's how slow it recharges in general, because I know that a rechargeable upgrade. Oh yeah, because this is still pretty much the beginning of the game. We're not that far in. Okay, come on, spin. God damn it. Get tripped. That's exactly what you were supposed to do. Yes. I think you can still pull this Oh yeah, off. I got it, I got it. You got this. Is it not your, little one, your little one square of health, you got this. I think, it's really, I think it's really just the clashes that are like making that are like going badly because like it's because like you're losing a lot of dad because like you're losing a lot of health just from clashes that you can't win. I mean that you're not winning. Ah fuck. No oh, wait, it's still my turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you still got two more tries. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is kind of just like wait until she does that one like charge up attack she does. Then dodge it, and then so when she misses, I attack. Yeah, like Rayford was saying, when she does that, you can just back up a bit and charge your own attack on her. Which yeah. I'm trying to do. It's a little little tricky. Yeah. I'm going in for the quick, simple hits, I guess, rather than charging attacks. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's, I'm trying to use some of the more... Because this is the boss where you have to learn the mechanics more. So I'm trying to, like, get a little fancy with it. Well, yeah. Not super fancy, but, like, try to do a little bit more, take advantage of some more of the stuff, try to pay attention to where she's blocking. And, yeah, you're saying, like, or watch out when she sheathes the sword? Yeah, when she started using some of the yellow stuff, like, right there, like, kind of like that. 
when she does I mean, that. Okay, when you say when she does that, you're watching with a delay. So, so oh, that does, when she um when she start when basically when the effects start appearing around her. And okay, she yeah, does, like, yeah. Stab, you can back up. You can like move away and then charge your beam katana and okay. get a charge well, attack with that. Okay, yeah, I know, I know that. But earlier you were saying something about oh, or is that is that when she sheeds her blade? Um, I, I thought it looked like it to me, but uh, um, looking at it again, it looks like she's actually just like pulling it back. She's not actually like yeah. sheeting it. Oh, like that? Yeah, right there. Oh, oh, uh, there's a delay. When she ran forward, right there. When she ran forward, that was kind of what I meant. Okay, that's when you just dodge. Yeah. Okay. So she's like running at you, just get the fuck out of the way. Yeah. Stuff like she that, has a lot yeah. of that. She has a lot of that flippy shit too. Yeah, she has a lot of different moves that you kind of gotta like. She like jumps on your head. Yeah, she like does she's that. Mario or something. She's her fucking Goomba. Yeah. She just jumps on your head and you vanish. Okay, where is the health? Yeah, that's yeah, what you yeah, do. That's, that's how you collect like the health. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I got health. Humble five. Oh yeah. Dude, give me the fucking health! <laughs> You took my health! I want it back! <laughs> Imagine the boss can take the life back from you. Imagine if she could go actually, in that room and get the hell. That is a thing. That actually, I just, I, just remember, I just thought of a boss that word. That is a thing, actually. And um, one of the Kingdom Hearts games, Birth by Sleep, there's a secret boss fight. And this boss yeah. is like, there's boss... Like, most of the bosses in the game have multiple life bars. This boss has one life bar. Meaning they actually they have the lowest life in the game just for a boss, it. but they um they do an absurd amount, yeah. really high amount of damage, and if you heal, the boss steals your ability to heal, and then they can heal themselves. Ah, oh, that's a motherfucker. Or rather, like they they, they, they like, or rather, it's like it's it's not like they steal it from you. Like they steal, they they take away, they take the they copy the ability. Mm, like for, so the, like first, the first thing, they, the first thing they'll do is first, if you heal, they'll do a special attack that's only that, that they'll only do if you heal, and then they'll basically they'll open up the whole another side of, part of their move set that they won't use unless you heal yourself, and then they can start healing themselves as well. So you make the boss fight harder if you heal. The easiest way to win is to not heal. <laughs> That, that that just makes me think there should be a video game where you fight a boss that has all the fucking things you normally get when you're fighting a boss, like little health pickups laying around, or like a, a fucking special, like, bullshit thing they can do. Hmm. Then you just create a boss that's like, that's like the character, and you're the fucking boss. Oh yeah. And you have to stand there while they run around. 